What's up guys? Today we'll be taking a look at the Moscow Ultra Short Throw Projector. Now before we get this set up, if you're new to the channel and you're into home theater, hi-fi or new movies, then be sure to tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. Now what this is is a portable battery powered ultra short throw projector package that comes with an included screen. In the package we get the remote control, the power cord, the power brick, an Amazon Basics tripod, the user guide, and an HDMI cable. Now this is a fairly compact projector. Size-wise, it measures 6.6 .6 inches high by 12.6 inches deep by 3.7 inches high, and it weighs only 6.2 pounds. Battery life is rated at 3 hours on a full charge, so that should get you through a full movie. It is a DLP projector with lamp life up to 25,000 hours, and it's rated at 1,000 ANSI lumens. Connection-wise, there are two USB-A ports and a USB-C port that you can use to charge a mobile device. On the opposite end is a 3.5mm audio out, two HDMI outputs, a USB-C port, the power button, the DC power input, and there's also a trigger. On the bottom front are some LED indicators for Bluetooth and projector status. The power buttons for Bluetooth and a projector are in the center, and there's another LED indicator for battery slash power status. On the top are touch sensitive navigation buttons, as well as a focus dial. On the bottom are adjustable feet if you need to make it level when it's sitting on a flat surface. On the bottom center is a threaded insert. This is so you can mount it to a tripod. With this package, you'll also get a portable 50 inch screen. It comes in a convenient carry bag. Inside, you'll find the screen material inside its own bag, two foldable legs, the foldable screen frame, and here's two little knobs that you'll use to secure the legs to the frame. Putting the frame together is super easy. Just grab the legs and unfold them. Do that for both. Now grab the frame, unfold it, and lock down the corners. To break it down, you're just going to have to do everything in reverse. Next grab both legs and insert them into the ends of the frame. Grab the two black knobs and tighten everything down. This way, the legs don't fall out. That's very cool. Next, we've got to attach the screen. Just line up the buttons and snap it into the frame. And that's it, you're good to go. This whole setup should take less than five minutes. Let's take a quick peek at some of the settings. Under picture, you've got contrast and sharpness sliders, and there's a built-in pattern test too. Under picture test, the projector will cycle through a few colors. Under display, there's a sleep timer from 10 minutes, one hour or three hours and off. And here are controls for horizontal and vertical positions. This will digitally move the picture around, so it would be best to center the image yourself without using these adjustments, or else you're just gonna be using wasted pixels. Under the color section, you have selectable gamma. There's different color temperatures, six different color effects, two different color formats, and here are the hue and saturation sliders. Under advanced, there are five different aspect ratio choices. Orientation is where you'll specify how you have the projector placed. And ultra vivid will enable support for deep color. In the other section, you'll find the trigger output, keystone correction, language setting, menu transparency, which will make the menu background either lighter or darker. Sport mode will adjust the brightness level depending on your battery life. Buzzer will shut off the beep sound every time you use the touch sensitive buttons. And reset will reset everything. And lastly, the information tab will tell you the source information that's playing. 
Since this is a very portable projector, we hooked everything up outside at Brian's house, aka Whisper Status 74 on YouTube. Fresh out of the box, I'd say the image had a green push to it, so I had to go into the user settings and turn down the green. I also felt that the movie mode looked the best for the content that we were watching. Now this is a full native 1080p projector and it throws out a really nice sharp image. Black levels are of course not the greatest as is the case with most DLP projectors, so they tend to skew on the grayer side. But for the price, the performance is totally within reason. The colors were punchy using the included Yardmaster screen, which has a gain of 1.1. We were using this at night with a porch light on and it still has acceptable saturation. If it was totally dark, then that would be the best way to use this. Bringing the projector inside with zero ambient light, I did find the image very nice, but it was a little dim. If you go in and choose the user setting, the projector will kick into max brightness. However, once you do that, your highlights are going to be really clipped. So I had to go in and drop down the contrast. It'll dim the image a little, but you'll get back a lot of that bright detail. We also ran the projector with its built-in battery and got a little over two hours of usage. Now, if you are going to use the projector inside, it does make a fair amount of fan noise. But if you have the speakers on, then that should drown out most of the noise. I don't know which way to go. So the is going to follow with my shirt? Video game wise, it is rated at 17 milliseconds of input lag. For me personally, I found it just fine. I don't think you'd use it for competitive gaming, but for casuals, it's great. At the time of this video, the Moss Go projector and screen combo is priced at $1,300. I would have liked a bigger screen, like an 80 inch or higher, but I get it. 50 inches is much more portable when it's all folded up. I found the image was nice and sharp and the color was very good as well, though you will need to adjust it to get it looking natural. Being an ultra short throw projector, you will need very minimal space to get a big screen and you don't have to worry about people walking in front of the projector. The speakers were loud enough to make everything we watched understandable and the built-in battery is a cool option if you want to have a movie night outside and not have to run a 50 foot extension cord. I think this is a great solution for families on the go or even folks that need a big screen option to show off a presentation, so business people and even churches, this should be something to look into. Projector. Get the big picture.